So what I'll be showing you here today is going to be 17 different outfits and it's going to be a mix of my mother's true clothes or some of them are my grandmother's they got passed down to my mother and some of them are my sister's clothes which they left behind when they moved out. And you know me, I'm Lady Vintage Bag. So I had to pair every single one of these outfits with one of my vintage designer handbags. My mum was about to start decluttering her house and at the same time, I'm on a no buy August. So it turned out to be a mutually beneficial agreement where I would help her declutter by me going through shopping for free in her closet. Win-win. So let's get into it. So outfit number one is this gorgeous, vibrant purple halter neck dress. It's made from like a sateen fabric. Now there's no tag, so I don't know what brand or what size this is. And I paired this with my gorgeous Louis Vuitton Capango Gold pochette home epi leather that I converted into a handbag. Now I think my mother's taste is the same as mine and luckily I fit a lot of her clothes perfectly. So this beautiful long dress is going to be great for transitional weather and it goes really well with this very neutral Capango gold clutch. This is actually a men's toiletry, which I've converted into a crossbody bag. And if you wanna see all the different ways I convert my clutches and toiletries into crossbody bags, I'll actually leave my conversion tricks and tips videos here for you. And I'm gonna be wearing this day, night, anytime, because I think this is a very versatile dress. So this is actually a white dress with red polka dots. How retro is that? Also another longer dress on me because I'm pretty short. This one is done up by a zipper down the back. So really easy to put on and take off. It is a little bit big for me on the bus. So I may have to adjust this. Might have to do some DIY alterations. And I'm pairing it with my vintage Chanel Series Zero white single flat bag. Now this unfortunately made it into one of my five worst purchases list because this bag was not declared as repainted, but when I got it, I realized it was repainted. I asked the seller point blank period, has this bag been sparred? And they said, no. Repainting a bag, I classify that as being sparred, but the seller lied. I paid via direct transfer, couldn't get my money back. They were in a different country as well. So I just let that one go as a bad lesson. This is a beautiful dress that I can wear during the day and during the evening. Again, very versatile. And I love the length because it adds a bit of formality to the dress as well. So I don't look like I'm underdressed if I'm going anywhere. Now I've been enjoying this dress already. So this is a pink or peachy dress with white polka dots. Again, another very long dress done up by a zip at the back, very comfortable to wear. And I'm pairing her with my vintage Monogram St. Cloud PM by Louis Vuitton. And this is so old, it is even pre-date code. There's no date code on this one. I think this is a really good pairing. I've already worn this as an outfit on my Instagram, so you can go there and check that out. Such a comfortable dress. Again, can wear during the day or the night and that length, it just adds a bit more formality to the dress. So I don't look like I'm underdressed if I'm going anywhere, even though it's a casual dress. There's no tag on this one. So I don't know what brand it is or what size it is. Actually, even though I got this from my mum's closet, I suspect this one may have belonged to one of my sisters. I just don't remember my mum having worn this. So I think it might've been my sister's. Now this is a very unique one. This is a pant set, matching top with matching pants. This is a very airy and flowy sort of sheer fabric here. And if my memory serves me right, even though I got this from my mum's closet, I believe that this actually belonged to my grandmother before her and my mother inherited it from her. Cause I do remember my grandmother used to, her mother that is, used to wear these sorts of outfits and these sorts of fabric. So I believe this belonged to my grandmother and my mom's just been keeping it as a memory. And I'm gonna be pairing this with my 2024 birthday bag, which is a, or one of my birthday bags, which is a vintage Bali, their version of the mini Kelly. And this is one of those rare ones with the long strap. I thought this bag was incredible when I saw it and I snapped it up straight away. This is made from a box leather. It is worn out, so it is very soft and, and smushy at this point. And I think this is a really good pairing. And it's very hard to find these barley bags online secondhand. So I felt I was very fortunate when I found this one. And unlike the Hermes one, this one has a back pocket. Now this is a bit of a spicy dress. This is a red halter neck 
bit of a shorter dress this one you can see here this one does have a tag and this one is by the brand it says via satellite and it says it's a size 10 it says via satellite new york paris and sydney i don't think this brand exists anymore and this is a halter neck that's done up via buttons on the front and also buttons at the neck. So this one is going to be a very fun, flowy dress to be wearing this transitional season. And I've paired it with my vintage Hermes Sac Sandrine. This is a bag from the 70s. And this was actually named after the actress and also Hermes family member, Sandrine Dumas. Now we have another red dress. This one's a bit more brighter red and a bit more basic in design. Also a shorter dress. And this one does also have a tag. It's by the brand Le Secret. And this one is a size eight. So this one I actually took from my mother's wardrobe a while ago. And this one is very comfortable to wear. These fabrics don't have any stretch. So they have to really fit you well for you to wear them or you have to get the right size. And I paired it with my super vintage and super rare Louis Vuitton Sac Vendôme. This is a bag that is before 1980s. I think mine is from the 1970s. And these are also before the date code system. So they don't have date codes. So I think this is a very beautiful pairing of this red dress and vintage Louis Vuitton bag. Now this is a very special long sleeve but short and pleated dress, or not that short, but shorter above the knee. And this is from the brand, again, Le Secret. So same as the last dress, and this one is also a size eight. I love the attention to detail they put into the older clothing. Number one, the spare button is sewn onto this flap. So you won't lose the spare button. Not only that, I just love the details of the button themselves. Very beautiful buttons. And here is the pleating on the skirt. Now, this is going to be very outdated for some people. And you know, it is a very old vintage dress, so it is outdated, but I love this pleating on the bottom. This particular style, like this drop waist with the pleating down there, I really, really like this style. And I have paired it with my vintage Louis Vuitton Concord handbag. This is a handheld handbag. This is in epi leather and the color is called Toledo Blue. Did you guys see Louis Vuitton just brought back their epi leather heritage colors in the Louis Vuitton Neverfall? So, so far they've brought back four colors. Well, there's black which never went away so that wasn't really brought back. Then there's also Kenyan Fawn. Then there's Borneo Green and there's also the red color. But the fauve color that they've released is the old Kenyan Fawn. Now this is Toledo Blue, which they haven't brought back yet, but that's gonna be the pairing I'm gonna be showing you today, this outfit. Now this is a very simple black dress. Now I've, I've stained that, that's me, I did that. And again, it's another longer one. Now this is actually very similar fit to this one here. So they both fit the same. So I believe these two are the same size, but this pink one didn't have a tag, but this black one does. So this is again from the brand Le Secret. So I think my mother really liked shopping from this brand Le Secret. And you know, I'm glad she did because I also like the clothes that she picked from this brand. Now the, this is a size 10. The other Le Secret outfits, which was this blue one, which was a size eight, and this red one, which was also a size eight. But this black one is a size 10. Surprisingly, this black one is tighter on me than the other two. So I'm not really sure what's up with the sizing. It's done up with the zipper along the back. And I have paired it with my beautiful vintage Series Zero Chanel lambskin bag. It's got this half moon shape with this curved chevron quilting. And also it's made of soft lambskin with a single flap. Inside it's got the classic burgundy interior. I've just got a bag liner in there. And it's got double grommets. So you can double it up or single it up if you like. This is going to be such a great and easy dress to wear all year round. Like I don't mind even wearing this black dress in the summertime because it's very nice and flowy. Fabric is very breathable. Now this is a fun number from my mum. It's a tri-colored color block dress, black, purple, and orange. It has a cap sleeve and also it's a shorter length. Now, interestingly, this one has Velcro here, 
but no shoulder pads. So I think the shoulder pads were removable via Velcro and they just must have gone missing. Maybe when the shoulder pads went out and my mum took them off, but it, I couldn't find any shoulder pads with this one. But that, I'm guessing that's what that was, was the removable shoulder pads. This one's done up by a zipper down the back. Can't see any label or sizing on this one. And I've paired this with another one of my birthday bags from 2024. And this is the Vintage Barley Mini Kelly, but in a size 22. There is no Hermes Kelly size 22. The Hermes Mini Kelly is size 20 and then it goes to 25. But this is a size 22, so it's like in between those. But I love the shape of the top handle because it's very reminiscent of the original Mini Kelly from Hermes, the old school vintage ones that had that shape top handle. And I love that it has a separate ring for the strap. Unfortunately, I did not get the original strap with this one. You can check out my unboxing video there where I thought I was getting the original strap, but I didn't. So I put my own aftermarket strap on there. Now, this is a very loud number. This is a party dress, long sleeve, but short here. Business on the top, party on the bottom. Now, this one is done up by buttons along the front. However, to give you that snatched look, it has a corset back here to really cinch in the waist and that and then here the flared skirt will really accentuate the hips so this is very nice for the figure now this one does have its very dramatic shoulder pads and they even put so much effort as to cover the shoulder pads with the same fabric as the dress and i love that detail that they used to put into the older garments where everything was done nicely and cleanly and professionally not like the fast fashion we have today even though i buy fast fashion but you know there's a big difference between what you used to get versus what you get now and then it has elasticized sleeves as well and i paired that with my vintage louis vuitton montane men's clutch this is literally a clutch that i've converted to a crossbody bag again it's in my hacks and tips and tricks video about how to convert clutches and this is done up by a snap button closure it looks like that so i use this bag to tone down the loudness of the dress and this is all like chains that you see in the fabric there i believe this is from the 80s i think this is not the 90s let me know what you think. Do you date this as 80s, 90s, 70s? Let me know what you think this is from. Now, this is a very like sailor looking dress. So it has the contrast collar here. Unfortunately, there's a big stain. I'll try to get that out. Then it's done up by buttons here. And then it has a dropped waist with a pleated skirt, again with the contrast hem. And it has short sleeve. And I paired it with another one of my birthday bags. So this is a vintage barley bag with the pebbled leather doesn't really have a name or anything. I don't know what era it's from. It's got feet on the bottom and it's done up by this button mechanism here. This one was a grade A second hand bag. I loved the condition it was in and I got such an amazing price. Check out the unboxing video if you haven't seen that. You'll find out how much I paid because it was such a steal. So again, this is from that brand Satellite. We already looked at a garment from that brand. Actually, there's no sizing on here. I don't know what size this is, but it says New York, Paris, and Sydney. So it must have been some somewhat of a good brand at that time, but it just doesn't exist anymore. So this satellite brand and the Le Secret brand tends to be the ones that my that we have kept from my mum's collection up until now. There may have been other brands that we decluttered over the years. I don't know. Okay, another dress from the brand Le Secret, which is one of my mum's favorite dress brands that I love from her collection. This one says size 10. This is like a baby doll sleeveless dress. Very nice and flowy. And I paired it with my vintage Louis Vuitton Monceau handbag in the black epi leather. You guys know I am obsessed with these giant golden S locks from Louis Vuitton. And that's exactly what this bag is known for. The so black and black that will go together really nicely and allow this bag to really shine against the dress. So this is a just a skirt. I couldn't find any top half. Maybe the top half went missing or maybe there was no top half. I don't know. This is from the Australian brand Reserve, which still exists today. And this is size 10. But I have to tell you, this is very small. So in modern sizing, I am a size 6 to 8. And in this skirt, I'm a size 10. So that just goes to show how I think over the years, brands, clothing brands have actually changed their sizing system 
to make people feel smaller than they are because back then I would be fitting a size 8 to 10 but now I'm fitting a size 6 to 8 so I think that as society got bigger to not make society feel bad about themselves they changed the sizing system what what are your thoughts on that let me know what you think because I believe that the older vintage clothing the sizing was smaller compared to how it is now maybe because they don't want society to feel bad about how most of society got bigger in general and I've paired it with my vintage Louis Vuitton GM Bordeaux bag. This is a two-in-one clutch bag. You can remove the straps and wear it as a thin clutch, like a flat, flattish clutch, or have the straps and wear it as a crossbody bag. Because this is just a skirt by itself, I mean, I'm loving the button details and the drop, the drop waist and the pleating. Very similar to the other clothes that I've showed you such as this dress that we looked at, the blue one, and this dress that we just looked at, the black one. Now this one is a whole matching skirt suit. This brand says Pink House, and then it has Japanese writing, but I can't see a sizing. Now, unfortunately, I cannot fit this skirt for the life of me. It is way too small. So the skirt's going to have to go into storage. But the top, I'm thinking I'm going to pair it with just a black plain t-shirt tucked into a pair of wide leg jeans. And I'm going to pair it with my vintage Gucci Ophidia camera bag. And I think that's going to make a really cool edgy pairing. I love the buttons on this. Really old school dramatic buttons. And I thought the design was so clever that when you're buttoning up, but then you get to the middle. This is just a for show button and the real button you use is back here. And you button it up there. And it just has everything. It's so well thought out for everything to sit nicely on you. And that's what I love about the older garments. The design is much more well thought out about how it's going to lay on your body and sit on your body and not look all scrunched and you know out of place. This is a purple lace high neck top. Now, actually, I misunderstood this shirt and I actually wore it backwards in the mod shot. So you'll see me wearing it completely backwards in the mod shot. I didn't even realize until afterwards. I thought that where the buttons were were the front, but that's actually the back. It's supposed to be done up all the way with buttons down the back there and then it has these buttons to help you do the neck area by yourself easily but I misunderstood and I thought that was the front actually this is what it's supposed to have looked like at the front so sorry about that and I had paired it with my vintage Louis Vuitton Tassil yellow pochette accessoires this is the small size 22 centimeter size there are two size pochette accessoires in the vintage ones so I learned that when I mistakenly bought this one not knowing it was much smaller than what I was used to because I was used to the bigger size and I paired it with this because of its purple interior to go with the purple shirt so if you want to see the unboxing video and learn about the mistake that I made when buying vintage pochette accessoires, watch the unboxing video. I couldn't find any bottom that came with this, so I just paired it with my own clothing. This is actually a thrifted tan suede-like skirt that I'm wearing with it. And if my memory serves this right, this shirt belonged to my grandmother and it got passed down to my mum and it's not truly my mum's shirt. Now this one was a bit of a wild card find. So this is a checkered, but a she checkered top with lace. And it's one of those types that you can tie up. That's what it looks like at the back. Now this one, it might be my mother's or possibly my sister's. I don't know. But I thought it was really interesting because it was so many mix of things. It's got the sheer, it's got the checkered, it's got the lace, it's got the actual proper tie-up style. And I really love that the bottom, the last part, is actually a snap button and not a, a proper button. So I thought that, again, really, you know, better thought out design than the older clothing. I couldn't find any tops or bottoms that came with it just by itself. So I've just paired it with my own clothing there. And I'm matching it with my Coach original size. Cassie bag the one that got discontinued this is to me how everyone is buying the dress up your purse version of the pochette matisse at the moment for me by having the original coach Cassie I literally have no desire for the pochette matisse and I have no desire for the dress up your purse version because I think my coach Cassie just fits the bill already this is a really unique coach Cassie because it's navy blue it's really hard to find the navy blue one it's paired with that sort of brush bronzy hardware there 
So while everyone's unboxing the dress up your purse bag, I really have no desire for it. I'm perfectly happy with my single Coach Cassie original. I don't need every color. Now this, I believe was also my grandmother's. And this is another good example of how well thought out design was back then. You can see here, it lays so well along the collar and down this way. And that's because there are literally snap buttons the whole way down the collar to hold it down so it doesn't get all wrinkled and smushy and then that's a truly a buttonhole truly a buttonhole and then when you get down here to hold the bottom in line there's literally one snap button here and one snap button here so that's another example of how well thought out clothes were designed back then now this i couldn't find any matching bottoms with it but and I've paired this with my vintage Louis Vuitton Capango Gold Dragon Cellier Clutch, which has that beautiful iconic S lock that you guys know I'm obsessed with. And I've converted this because it's just a clutch. It just comes with one wrist strap. It's a men's line clutch. And I've converted this into a crossbody bag using a bag organizer that I've just sewn these rings. This These are picture frame triangles that I've sewn these to so I can attach my own strap and I think that this top would be very well suited to be worn with the traditional Lao outfit or Lao skirt as you guys may or may not know so my mum was born and raised in Laos we are ethnically Chinese or dead Jill Chinese and my grandmother wasn't born in Laos she was born in China but spent most of her life from childhood to adulthood in Laos so culturally my family are mostly Laos even though ethnically we're dead Jill Chinese and so this would be very well suited to be worn with the Lao skirt we call Sin and if you want you can also wear the traditional shawl which we call pabiang and you know there's two ways of wearing it which you can wear it like over your shoulder you can wear it just like a modern day shawl so i think this would be more suited for that sort of outfit but i am going to bring this shirt into the modern ages and wear it however i like so guys i'm in day 26 of my august no buy so i've not bought anything that is not on the approved list like the approved list is like my food you know any sort of like household consumables that i've completely used up and need to use immediately or any bills i need to pay but i've not bought any like fun stuff so no clothes no organizing stuff no none of that non-essentials in the month of august and so because i'm not buying clothes i'm like you know what my mom is about to declutter her house let me go to her house and go shopping in her wardrobe and that's exactly what i've done because I didn't want any of these clothes to get decluttered. Not that she would have decluttered it. She might have just kept it anyway. But you know what? She's not wearing them. I might as well bring them into the modern day and wear them and give new life to my sister, my mother, and my grandmother's old clothes that were just sitting in a storage tub and pair them with my beautiful designer bags. So guys, let me know which of these outfits I've shown you today was your favorite. Which ones you think are too outdated to be brought into the modern age. And let me know if you like the vintage designer handbags that I've paired with each one. Or what would you have paired with which outfit instead if you've got ideas? I'd love to share fashion ideas and I love to take inspiration from other people's ideas too. So if you have any suggestions for me on which bag to pair with each, which outfit or how I can style these vintage outfits, please let me know in the comment section. Now, if you guys haven't already seen, I do have unboxings or review videos for every single one of these handbags that I've shown today. So if you want to know anything more about any of those handbags, I'll link them all down below. If you guys haven't already seen the new four it color releases for Louis Vuitton, I'll leave them here. And if you guys want info on all the new never full releases for the rest of 2024, I'm going to leave them here.